Hi guys, and thanks for stopping by the channel today where we look at information of value for the journey. Today we're going to look at how to structure a speech, a presentation, or a sales copy or a sales offer. You may not think so, but they have a lot in common. So let's get to it. The general sections of a speech or a lecture would be intro, body, summary. A presentation, especially if we're in a classroom setting to learn, tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and tell them what you told them. It may sound funny, but it works. Spaced repetition. And sales copy or sales presentation, hook, story, offer. So the first part of it we're just going to call the beginning or the intro or tell them what you're going to tell them or the hook. They all have the same purpose, to get your audience's attention and to set them up for what's next. So things to consider when you're preparing your beginning. Do you have a good attention getting step? Was the importance or the value of the presentation well established? Not just established, but well established. Not just a attention getting step, but a good attention getting step. If you listen to me for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to introduce you to a program that if you want to start an online business and succeed, it's going to give you your best chance. Was what they should be able to do or what they would know when you were finished with the presentation? Was it presented well? The objectives well established? And were the main points outlined? So right from the beginning, the structure needs to be considered and it needs to follow a logical progression. When I teach people to teach, I always tell them that we should be able to do it stick in the sand. We don't need all this fancy PowerPoint presentations, videos, and all that good stuff. If somebody asks me a question and I have knowledge base in a subject, I should be able to answer their question with a logical progression that makes sense. The easy way to explain this, believe me, I understand it's going to sound elementary. When I teach people to teach, I use this example all the time. You don't go from A to F. You go A, B, C, or 1, 2, 3, 4. It's easy for people that have an in-depth knowledge base and a subject matter to skip those steps. So in your introduction, in your hook, when you're getting started, it's important to make sure you lay that map out. So. What are we going to be learning today? We're going to be learning the three sections of a presentation, sales copy, and or speeches and lectures. We're going to start out with introduction. We're going to talk about the body as well as our conclusion or our summary. If you give me 10 minutes of your time, I guarantee you, you will better understand how you can communicate with people better. So that would have been a, a hook to start us out. And then going over intro, the hook, Tell them what you're going to tell them. Today we're going to talk about three sections of a lecture of presentation. We're going to talk about intro, body, and summary. All right, so again, the body needs to follow that established logical progression. So what are some of the things you need to consider in your body and or your story? Was the information correct? A lot of times people give out incorrect information. Maybe they didn't do enough homework. So that's one of the things we want to consider. Were well, the training aids used effectively? So if you're using any training aids, so if I put something up on here that I'm talking about, so we're gonna use this particular type of presentation pointer when we do our presentations. And then once we get into our presentation and we're talking about the Eiffel Tower, that should go away. Don't leave your training aid up and move on to the next subject matter or to the next step and leave the training aid available. Certainly don't give it to your audience and let them hold it in their hand. It's just going to draw their attention away from what you're talking about. So use the training aid and then put it away. Use the slide to emphasize the information and then go to the next one or make a blank slide if you're just talking about something that doesn't have the training aid involved with it. Did you involve the audience? With this one-on-one -on -one video kind of thing, or this video where you're watching me, it's hard to make sure you're involved. I could ask you to raise your hand, I could ask you a question, but I have no way of answering it. If I actually have an audience there, and I ask them a direct question, or I can ask them a leading question, 
Show of hands, how many came here today with expectations of leaving with more knowledge? They raised their hand, so that's something you could do. The other aspect was time used effectively. Not there's a certain amount of time and we're gonna make sure we plug whatever the information is into it, a five minute presentation on how to open a door. That's one I use for my new students all the time. A 15 minute lecture on how we're gonna build a spaceship. Probably not enough time to do that. But if we narrow the scope during our intro, we know what we need in our body or what are the information we're gonna cover. So there are other aspects. I'm gonna be doing a series of videos on this, these topics and subject matter. And one of them is narrowing the scope of your presentation or your sales uh, copy or your lecture so we can whatever time we have available we can make it effective and so that's one of the things we can do so one of the presentations or one of the videos I'm gonna make down the road so the other one was were you innovative did you use some kind of cool way or some kind of different way that wasn't thought of before uh, to get your message across so if you're innovative, you're much more likely to keep your audience's attention. And were you polished and professional? So the way you become polished and professional is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. So when I give presentations on a regular basis or when I teach uh, students or adults to give presentations, I've been teaching adults to teach for a very long time. And an absolute, after you, after you have the lecture, you have it under your belt, you're good with the information, you're good with the flow, practice it three times, a minimum of three times, start to finish, as if you have real live students. And if you can get your friends and family to sit as live students while you're doing it, uh, even better, if you can do that. So, that's how the things we need to think about for our body. And then we come to our summary. Now the summary is just gonna be a lot of times a restating of the intro. And so the way we do that with a lecture or a presentation, you review the main points. So again, we go back to that one, two, three, or that A, B, C. So we wanna review them, and we also wanna review them in the same order that they were in the intro, same order that we covered them in the body, and then review them in the same order in the summary. And this also, a good way to do this is, is you can use a combination because we also want to test our learning objectives. And that's something if we have a live audience, they're in the body. As we move along, we can do that. Um, but in the summary or the conclusion, we certainly want to do it. So we can use a combination, review the main points and um, test the learning outcomes at the same time. The other thing we want to do, we should always have key points that are emphasized key points. So the key points would support part of those main points, but we always want to review those as well because those are the main things we want somebody to get from this. So one of the main things I wanted you to get from this is how important that intro was, how important it is to think about it and have it in a logical progression. I also wanted you to, to understand that the, it's important for the body, the meat of your presentation or your lecture or your sales copy or your story for your sales copy has those, that same logical progression. And also how important it is from right from the beginning to have a, establish a really good attention getting step. And then our summary, we just summarize. Now a lot of times if this is sales copy, it's gonna be the offer. And it's gonna hopefully be an irresistible offer. So what I did at the beginning is I said, hey man, if you listen to me for the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna introduce you to a program that if you want to start an online business and succeed, it's going to give you your best chance. So that would be an attention getting step. That would be that hook at the beginning. Hopefully you go, yeah, man, I want that. And then we talk about it. When we do this, it's gonna be four free lessons. You're gonna get A, you're gonna get B, you're gonna get C, you're gonna get D. And then in conjunction with that, we're gonna have E and F and G over here. And they are all free as well. And you're gonna get all this free training and all the way to the end of it is gonna help you fast track and, and uh, fast track and, and have a better opportunity and a better chance to succeed with your online business. Well, how do I get it, right? So how do you get it? All you do is click the link below and it's gonna take you to our sales page. So very low barrier offer, but it's all the way at the conclusion. So we set it up, 
with a with a hook, a, and then we had us we had our story in there, right? We're going to help you get better. We're going to help you do this. When you learn how to do this, you're going to be able to market your business like this, etc. Uh, all in that body, and we follow kind of the same um, same uh, flow as how we set it up with A, and you're going to get A, you're going to get B, you're going to get C, right? So A, you're going to get A, and here's A, and this is what A is going to do for you. And this is kind of how it's going to work. And this is what B is going to do for you, right? And this is how C is going to do for you. And then all the way to the end, you know what? Are you ready to do this? And we're giving you these additional free bonuses. Bam, 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 bam. Guess what? Click the link below and sign up today and get started. I look forward to your success. All right? So that's kind of, kind of how that goes. So very much so, these things can all be tied together. So hopefully you have a lot of valuable information in this. Be looking out for my other videos. I'm going to do killer intros. I'm going to do um, how, do you, how you work with training aids, uh, how you work the room with eye contact, et cetera, things like that. So if you like this kind of content, come comment below. Let me know what you think about it and let me know what you want to see in the future. And uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification bell and like it if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one.